uh, hello everyone in this video uh, I will explain to you uh, step by step step by step on how to uh, start the calculation of discretionary accruals so you need to calculate discretionary accruals in order to calculate earnings management there are too many discretionary accruals uh, models in this video I will focus on Jones model 1991 so in relation to Jones model its regression mode the dependent variable of this model is total accruals divided by lagged total assets while the independent variables are three variables plus the residuals the first variable is one divided by lagged total assets and this will be the constant because there is no constant in this regression the second variable is delta revenues divided by lagged total assets the third variable will be property, plants and equipment or fixed assets divided by lagged total assets the description is here and you can check any reference for more information about this model so now we understand the model which is Jones 1991 there is another model like the modified Jones model 1995 Kuthari model 2005 and too many accrual models so let's go to next window to explain something else so here is uh, the key on how to organize your data so uh, the data should be not across should be down so you need your uh, variables to be vertically arranged for example uh, what variables you need to calculate for example Jones model so you need uh, total assets you need revenues or sales you need receivables you need uh, net income maybe for later if you want to calculate Kothari model Uh, you need property plants and equipment so this is E not T also you need the net income and the cash flow from operating activities to calculate uh, total accruals so total accruals can be calculated from uh, the difference or the net of these two variables also you can calculate it from the balance sheet approach using cash uh, current assets current liabilities current loans and overdrafts depreciation so you can use uh, the balance sheet but uh, the cash flow statement is more superior so what do we need to calculate Jones model, total assets, revenues, receivables, 
net income, cash flow from operating activities, and property plans and equipment. So here is the variables, and for each company, for each company, so you need uh, some years to calculate the deltas. So the delta of each variable will be calculated uh, from year two to year one. So for example, if I have uh, four years, if, I, if my data is uh, is collected over four years for each firm so this is firm one year one firm one year two firm one year three firm one year four and same for other other firms so firm two year one firm two year two firm two year three firm two year four also we need uh, the industry group or uh, sector so if you would like uh, in the future to calculate cross-section estimation so cross-section estimation to calculate it we need uh, the sector two digit sector or uh, the industry group uh, it's enough even if you uh, have this group as the name of uh, the industry for example for for example if you have uh, chemicals if you have uh, construction companies if just if you have the name of each group it's fine if you have the sector it's fine as well so here is the format which is accepted by stata to calculate the deltas of each variable and then to calculate uh, earnings management as well So now, next, to start calculating your variables, you have to tell Stata about your variable which identifies your firm group and the variable which identifies your year. So we need to tell Stata that this variable name represents the companies, so the company names and this variable represents the year so you see here i explained everything just for uh, beginners if you are zero level in stata and you want to everything to be explained like word by word so in our example this is the firm id so the firm id means the firm identify and the year so that's the year identified let's see more now what is the command to tell stata about this so this step is very important to calculate the deltas because if stata knows that this firm has three years four years so it will be able to calculate the deltas uh, for firm identifier you should run the next command so you run the next command so this is the command here e generate e generate e g e n you write the name here you choose whatever you want firm identification for example and then you type in equal you type group between parentheses the name as you have it in your data set so firm id so that's the name of the variable in my data set explanations here so firm identification can be any name you choose firm id that's from the data set Let's move to another window. Oh, 
Okay, next step. We set our data as a panel data. And that's very easy instead. And just we should run the next command. The command is here, xt set. xt set. And then you start with firm identification, the one which we created just now, followed by year. So that's the variable year in our data set, followed by comma and yearly if you would like stata to consider the delta base on year basis monthly if your data is arranged on monthly basis whatever you want but in general uh, the financial year is prepared on yearly basis so i think this is the most suitable for uh, calculating earning management it's on yearly basis uh, you will get this message if you if you run this command you will get this message or slightly different message uh, than this so exit firm identification here is just repeating first so that's the command so panel variable is firm identification so that's my panel variable and time variable is my year and it's from 2005 up to 2015 and it's strongly balanced what does it mean strongly balanced if you have for each firm or each company five years for example for each company five years so for example five years or for each company the same number of years so that's strongly balanced if you have, for example, for company one, you have four years, for company two, you have three years, for company three, you have 10 years. So then it will be not strongly balanced. It will be unbalanced data. So the data is not balanced. And that's fine if it's strongly balanced or unbalanced data. I see both types in too many research. And the explanations here, which I said just now. Now, next step. So we should now generate. Generate what? Generate the variables which we need to calculate discretionary accruals. So the command generate, you can just type the first three letters G E N or you write generate it's doesn't matter so both both are fine and both work so the command generate which can be written as G E N is for creating new variables to generate any deltas or any delta of your variables there are a built-in command in stata and it's here so you type in gen and you choose any name you want for the new variable followed by equal followed by the letter d small followed by dot and then followed by the variable name as in your data set so d dot the variable name as in your data set so just note here there are no parentheses no parentheses here just i want to show you the explanation so dot followed by variable name without parentheses so below are uh, the commands to compute most variables you need for delta revenues so generate so these ones are just names i picked so you can pick any name you want followed by d dot and revenue so that's the name as in my data set so then stata will generate delta res, uh, revenues or revenues from d dot revenue so from delta revenue so this is new variable so this is the old variable now generate delta receivables 
so delta receivables generate delta receivables so d dot receivables generate delta cash d dot cash generate delta current assets d dot current assets generate delta current liabilities so d dot current liabilities generate delta current loans and overdraft so that's d dot current loans Now the next step. So the next step for all models uses, which is uh, used to estimate discretionary accruals as a proxy for earnings management. All variables should be scaled by lagged total assets. So we should scale the variables by lagged total assets. How can we calculate lagged total assets? So we need to run this command here. Generate, you write your variables, which is the new variable, followed by equal and then l the letter l small followed by the total assets variable name from the data set so generate new variables new variable followed by l followed by uh, equal l dot the variable name which represents total assets and here is how can we do this so lag total assets lag total assets from our data sets generate lag total assets so this is a variable which i created equal l dot total assets so we generate lag total assets which equal the lag value of total assets so l dot total assets is the lag value of total assets uh, now we got most of the variables calculated so in the next videos I will try to use a real example using stata program to compute the variables and how I will show you how to calculate those variables step by step uh, also we can use different types of models as can be shown here down uh, let's see if we have any more windows to explain so that's all for this video i hope this video was helpful thank you for watching and see you in the next video